Well, well, well. Hello again, and they tell you review bombing is bad. Well, you know why is the review bomb? It's because a reason. And when you observe, analyze the reason, you can clearly see, oh yeah, it's justified. I should avoid this product. So yeah, in this case, it's Air Defense for 6. Review bomb on Steam for requiring Epic Games launcher. The same launcher that it's taking so many resources playing uh, on the background, not with no games. And on top of that, when you have Steam playing, that shit is destroying the PC's performance. Unless you shut down Steam, which Steam is not currently playing games. <laughs> Why they did this? Japanese developer Sunslot Newly released Air Force 6 has been taken on Pomelin on Steam due to requiring the Speed Games launcher to play online. While the latest in their pulp action sci fi shooting franchise can be played solo, playing online currently requires the Epic Games launcher, which it did not reveal initially when the game launched. Ah, so you're pulling a Sony, eh? Requiring the Epic Games launcher got heavy criticism for players due to the stigma that it acts as a spyware and has numerous bugs. No wonder. The Epic Games launcher is being used to for the first time for the series, as it previously used to PlayStation Network for previous installments. At the time of writing Air the Fork 6, it has mostly negative reviews on Steam, which we can actually verify that. Now it passed into Mix. Oh man. The thing comes. The things. Your friends exist in your session took their visually somewhere else entirely. They fight the same enemies just fine, but their character can can be somewhere else and completely different from what you see. You may actually be right next to them, which leads to lots of friendly fire as their ghost still gets hit by your equipment. Ah, oh, man. It's not a bug. It's a feature. <laughs> their characters also be facing different directions than what they are actually looking at. And so when they shoot on their screen and in game, it goes where intended. But what you see is that it goes somewhere else. According to other people, this hasn't been patched in released two years ago, so it's unlikely to be fixed. Epic Games. I'm sure this is probably the reason for the above too. Other people posted all the negatives about this, so no one need to dive more into it. I hate Epic Games and having to log into separate stuff other than Steam for Steam games. Voice acting. The other idea games had slightly bad voice acting with lots of funny energy behind it. In Air the Fair Foxes, all feel soulless to the point it might actually be AI. <laughs> the lines are still as goofy as before, but the actors behind it are not the best to listen. Snooze Prolo tutorial. So, uh, the epic games and the game has problems from the start. I love EDF in general, but the connection to the Epic Games Launcher is a nightmare. I have a quote-unquote box that forces me to reinstall the Epic Games Launcher every time I want to start EDF 6 again. That's the kind of shit that I mentioned. Imagine you are buying a game on Steam and it requires you a launcher. And because you, the nature of said launchers, they just are fucking buggy mess. That is just messing with your computer. And this is uh, the case of why the review bombing exists. You should do it only because they they are just giving you a sexy waifu. No, is it censored waifu? Yes. It's, it's because they are adding a content and probably it was not appealing. I could think of it. If it's just because they are pushing useless fucking launchers only because they they did uh, an exclusivity deal behind the scenes because yeah, I'm a public trading shit show and corporate mindset. Yeah, review that shit into negative. 
make it go even further than hell itself. <laughs> so everyone can see why. This comes after blowback to Hell Divers 2, after the other requiring a PlayStation Network account, despite many using Steam to play it, to a review bombing by players and outcry the change was rescinded. Sandlot and Epic had yet to comment on the situation, but too little too late. Too little too late, everyone now knows this. Well, um... It's just a mystery why people have a key to success and they still want to throw it all away. Snatching defeat from the hands of victory. That's all I wanted to say here. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a pretty good day.